Surgery is fantastic, but it's a big operation. How many people in this room have ever had surgery? I've never had surgery. I would imagine it's a pretty big, a big thing to recover. Surgery to take the whole kidney out is a big incision, and even though you may get out of the hospital in a few days, it really takes weeks or months to recuperate from that. And if they have to take your whole kidney, it turns out that about one in five people will end up developing some deficiency of renal function later in their life, and that correlates with a shortened lifespan, not because of renal failure, but because of some unknown factors. People can develop heart disease, strokes, things that are not related directly to kidney function, but they do have a shorter lifespan. Not always, but it correlates with that. So comes along ablation in the late 1990s, and it turns out over years we've learned that for smaller tumors, so for this definition, that means four centimeters or less, that the cure rate is really equal to that of surgery. So this is a, a very good technique, and it's taken a long time to prove that. So the treatment of this surgery versus percutaneous for small kidney tumors, the first goal, curing cancer, is equal. Again, four centimeters or smaller. Surgery definitely has substantially higher morbidity. Again, not mortality, but the recuperation period is much more extensive. When we do an ablation, people go back to their normal activities the next day. Even that night, they may, may feel almost completely normal. And it's quite, more, quite a bit more costly to do surgery. They're in the hospital longer, more complications, more equipment.